not take them to both? One in the afternoon, one in the evening. You know, that's impossible. We shouldn't get them to bed till all hours, and they'd be tired and fractious. Well, then, one on one day and the other on the other. They're always accusing me of spoiling the children. Their characters would be ruined in a fortnight if I left them to your over-tender mercies. All right, have it your own way. Circus or pantomime? Neither. We'll thrash them both soundly, lock them up in the attic, and go to the pictures by ourselves. <laughs> what on earth's the matter? Nothing, it's not. Darling, what's wrong? <laughs> Tell me, please. Really and truly, it's nothing. I, I'm just a little run down, that's all. I had a sort of fainting spell at the refreshment room at Milford. It was really idiotic. Molly Messenger was with me, and she talked and talked and talked till I wanted to strangle her. But still, she meant to be kind. Isn't it awful about people meaning to be kind? Would you like to go to bed? No, Fred, really. Come and sit by the fire in the library and relax. You can help me with the Times crossword. <laughs> you have the most peculiar ideas of relaxation. <laughs> 